Millions of people around the world are dealing with the horrible disease Alzheimer's. In the U.S., nearly 7 million people are living with the disease. You may not know, but the disease can begin 20 years or more before memory loss develops. It's also the most common cause of dementia. Also, did you know that genetics play a major role in the risk of Alzheimer's. Tonight we know there may be a new test that can help identify if you're at risk, hopefully well before memory loss occurs. And joining us on the Factor Uncensored tonight, we have with us Dr. Donish Ali from Arch Point Pain Institute. Dr. Ali, we hear some good news in the research of Alzheimer's, uh, and there's a blood test that could help or determine you have Alzheimer's before you actually get it and show signs, right? That's correct, Isaiah. So let's talk about this. So there is a blood test that's currently being researched that has been shown to be uh, significantly elevated in folks who have a form of dementia, which is called Alzheimer's. This is the most common form, Isaiah, that we see uh, historically. And this specific protein that we're looking for in the blood is eight to 10 times higher in folks who have Alzheimer's and that can help us diagnose and help us um, be ahead as it relates to the specific diagnosis of Alzheimer's. Uh, and that's what's uh, really exciting about this blood test right now. Now, when we take a look at the illness, the sickness, and of course, I've lived with it with my mom, and it's tough seeing the person you know you know, slowly forget situations because she had dementia instead of full-blown Alzheimer's where you forget everyone you know. But it's just sure. tough watching that and being around that and seeing, seeing your loved one suffer like that. My question is, now that they can uh, pinpoint it earlier through this potential blood test that may soon be in the public, how will that help out down the road? How will that prevent someone uh, from getting it or get them the treatment to slow it down. That's correct, Isaiah. Yeah, as soon as we can identify it, there are modifiable risk factors that we can work on, right? For example, if you've got a history of smoking or you're, um, you drink alcohol or your enzymes are off, uh, there are things that may be uh, risk factors that are putting you in that category that we can help treat. So those are the treatable risk factors, okay? Mm -hmm. And those are things that we can work on at an earlier stage to help get you to a point where you may be able to have lesser symptoms, lesser progression of the disease, and also we may be able to put you on medications that can help with this as well. So the whole combination of it is that we can identify it early, we can help come up with um, uh, risk factors that are uh, modifiable or changeable in your lifestyle, and then we can help treat those earlier on so that way we can prevent that progression and develop more of those symptoms at an earlier uh, part of this disease. And of course, for those who are wondering, how soon to, to the market, how soon available to the public, are we talking about way down the road or are we talking about a year or two? We're talking at least a couple of years, uh, best case scenario. This is still going through testing right now. FDA still has to look at it. Um, and then before it's gonna be readily available for uh, folks to be able to get a blood test. But the idea is that in a few years that this will be similar to when we go to the doctor's office for, you know, to check your blood levels or to check your blood sugar levels. Like this is the things that we're going to be looking at and another tool that we're gonna be utilizing to help us diagnose this at an earlier stage. And then so that way we can come up with different treatment uh, options and risk factors that we can help treat at an earlier stage in this disease. And as you mentioned, your mom went through it. She had years of uh, going through this. And so if we were able to catch it earlier, if we're able to modify some of those risk factors that we've already discussed, that way we can have a better lifestyle for the patient and for the patient's loved ones.
All right, Dr. Donnie Shalley, I'm glad to hear that this is out there and offering hope to families because it's it's a tough situation to go through. And we appreciate your time here on The Fact or Uncensored from the Arch Point Pain Clinic. We appreciate you, sir. Have a great night. You as well, Isaiah. Take care.